I'm sorry. I, well, how come we, I thought we were going to just have one. Well, we're back to two now. Oh, we are? Yeah. Two okay. microphones. We have to be conscious of not talking over each other. What? <laughs> hey, guys. Welcome to the Daily Smash for Thursday, December 22nd, 2022. I'm Rick. I'm Kelly. Coming up, a claw machine gets a new toy. A bomb cyclone is about to smack or is already smacking much of America and some choice comments from you guys. But first, we are headed to L.A. today. Mm -hmm. We're going to do the Jeff Lewis show Thursday morning in Los Angeles. And then Thursday night, we're going to um, Adrian Maloof's Christmas party. Yeah, it's a toy. It's kind of a toy drive Christmas party. So I've got a couple toys and I have not realized how expensive toys are. Like like what? Like I, it was crazy, like like maybe fifty five dollars for a toy. I mean, I don't, I didn't realize it. Like, I haven't really bought toys in a long, long time. Like, but I remember normal... there were toys at the dollar store. I, yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I was like, but Target had them. I was at Target, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna pick up some toys for the toy drive. Yeah. But uh, I was, I was shocked. Not cheap. Mm mm. Hmm. Um. You had a, a a loss in your family that you wanted to talk about. Yeah, well, it wasn't my family. It was Michael's uh, dad, Reg Reginald uh, Dodd. He passed away sadly this morning, and uh, Michael didn't even tell me. Uh, it was his sister in law Sally that told me, and mm. he said she wrote me a letter, a note saying that she wanted to let me know because he was always fond of me. Isn't that nice? Yeah. It is nice. Yeah, but he came, um, so Reg, Reginald Dodd came to America when he was, I think, in his 40s, late 40s. Um, Michael was in eighth grade going into freshman year from England, and he said that he was a nuclear engineer, and he was making as much as a coal miner, and he couldn't get ahead in England because the taxes were so bad, and mm -hmm. that's why he moved to United States. Wow. Well, uh, rest in peace. Rest in peace, Reginald Dodd. Yeah. Um, we, you wanted to talk about that Yahoo article, but I almost think we should save that for tomorrow. But if you want to, we can. Um, I have a I, lot of other stuff here. I think it's so good. Oh, you do? Well, okay. Yeah, because it's relevant. It's, it's relevant to now. Yeah. So do you guys remember the Megan King Edmonds uh, little debacle that I had with her? So... Most of my smashers were on my side. Well, of course, we get the liberal media involved, and it's a whole different uh, thing, and they come and they slam me. So Reality Blurb is the one who wrote the piece first. Yeah. Then everybody else copies it. So then you have reali then, then Reality T copies Reality Blurb, but puts their, their spin, spin on, on it. it, their trashy spin, which, and then... Uh, then it was like meow and then I got, some, and then I got uh, dot com. Then I get Yahoo news. I get a Google alert this morning. So Yahoo news reprinted the reality T article. That's what this is. Mm -hmm. And instead of doing their own reporting and maybe going to the source, asking Kelly a couple of questions, perhaps she would always be willing to answer questions from any reporter. In this case, they just reprint garbage. And call Yahoo it their own. News. Yahoo News. It's 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 offensive. Um, and I don't know if you want me to read the whole thing, but they they, they rehash the original um, article. They rehash your um, posting uh, on that article, saying uh, when you go woke, you you go broke because Bronwyn was asking for ten grand a month and said she had two grand in her checking account. Three grand, twenty nine hundred. And then they rehash the whole thing between you and and Megan. Um, Here's a, here's a, here's a, but they said, a, that they said that I don't have anything else to talk about as reported by reality blurb. So this is an organ, a alleged news organization, quoting another news organization reprinted in a third news organization. And none of them talked to Kelly as reported by reality blurb, Megan King, who is clearly still a hashtag justice warrior at heart. That's how they are. Took, justice warrior. Took Kelly to task for the dig since Kelly has nothing else to talk about. 
Okay. Well, okay, Yahoo News. <laughs> really? We have nothing else to talk about? That's why I've had 3 million views already on, on my YouTube channel. We've done hundreds of shows. We do shows every day, and we talk about all kinds of stuff. This yeah. is just one of many things. And we talked about it because it's, it's something involving her and a friend over something that you know, it just, it, it was, I thought it was worth talking about, but whatever. I talk about, I share everything with you that goes on in my daily, uh, yeah. daily, whatever. And, and, and people are like, well, you shouldn't be talking about this and you shouldn't be talking about that. And you shouldn't be talking. Well, I'm sorry, but this is my platform and yeah. I talk about, and I share everything with you guys. And this is, I was on a reality show. So this is what keeping I'm talking about. I'm keeping it real. Since Kelly has nothing else to talk about, she then leaked Megan's Instagram DMs to her on her YouTube show with husband Rick Leventhal. Oh, she texted me this morning. Oh, Megan, she did? Megan King. And what did she say? She asked me how I split up uh, Christmas. And I said, I don't. Oh. I'm taking Julie to Cabo with me for Christmas and New Year's. So, you know, Julie's 16 years old. I'm not dealing with little kids julie can make up her mind she wants to be with me she wants to spend christmas with us and we're going and to cabo we're going to cabo and again like i was so surprised that you said you've never traveled for christmas before mm -mm. so i'm honored to be the first one to take you somewhere else yeah. <laughs> i hope i hope it's good i hope you enjoy christmas in cabo yeah um regardless of what we think of bronwyn and we have thoughts can kelly just zip it already no I mean, Why should I? if she did, you wouldn't have an article. Yeah. You wouldn't have anything to write about. So why don't you move on? Why don't you move on? Why are you even writing about me? <laughs> um, <laughs> this is the trash that's going on in journalism today. See, this is what it is. This is what it is. Instead of saying, maybe perhaps Bronwyn should worry about focus on her children and worrying about maybe perhaps getting a job, learning how to, how to make money, maybe saving money rather than going all over the world and spending money on facelifts and clothes and- uh, Spending her husband's money. Yeah, and by the way, what about her? She's been through like four, girl, four or five girlfriends. I was talking to Heather McDonald yesterday. Yeah. And Heather McDonald, I forgot about that. She's like, she's been with four or five girls already and showing them off to, Showing them off. Yeah. Promoting them. Right. I wonder how her kids feel about that. Like, why does that all have to be so public? I don't know. Um, some choice comments from some viewers that you wanted to discuss. One said, keep doing the talk show, promoting too many products. Understand the tequila one, but now makeup, body sculpting? Well, that's Craig. I don't know if you're a guy, Craig. Craig McQuesnell. Um, but... Again, I talk about what happens with me on the daily. Yes. Uh, the tox is something that can benefit all women, uh, draining their lymphatic system, system, you know, de-bloating yourself. So I thought it was something that was relevant and that I could share. I'm not making any money on it. I just talk about what women want to hear. So but also people ask you about your makeup all the time. Give us a makeup tutorial. What do you wear? How do you wear it? What colors do you like? All that. What are your favorite things? That's what I do. Yeah. People get so annoyed by everything. It's, this this it's one's crazy. my favorite from Lucy. Not to sound like a hater because I'm not, but Kelly, you did not get that flat of a stomach naturally at your age. Sorry, you just didn't. I understand you might not want to admit every little thing you have done to well, your I, torso I or, or, or what you still are doing, but I do not believe for one minute that your stomach at nearly 50 years old is that flat naturally with just your diet and exercise alone. I don't know this 100% for sure, for sure, but if I had to bet money on it, I would certainly say, no way. Take care and keep on keeping on. Uh, Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> I've always had a flat stomach. Always. I've always taken care of my stomach. I eat well. I exercise. That is natural. Now, have I tried things like uh, cool, cool sculpting? Yes. I've tried them from my flanks. I absolutely have uh, done it maybe twice. I didn't see any results from cool sculpting. Um, but I'm here to tell the truth. It, you know, if, if, 
if I have something or I've done something, I always share it publicly. I don't know what she's in referring to. Like if she thinks you got liposuction or something. Yeah, I've never had liposuction. Ever. I can tell you for sure that Kelly is uh, very vigilant about her health, about her exercise. She goes to yoga almost every day. Yeah. We go to the gym. She takes walks. She she does exercises at home. I do and, sit-ups. Yeah, I mean, it's and you don't eat a lot. Like yeah. you're very careful about what you put in your body. So... Yeah, sorry, you're wrong. Go ahead and bet. I'll yeah. bet you. I'll bet you too, 100%. I'll bet you the entire contents of my bank mm-hmm. account yeah. and double it. Um, oh, I had but this thing. It makes me feel good that people say that, though. I it mean, does? Oh, yeah. because cause you look so good. Yeah. Well, no, I don't know if I look so good, but it's like that they're they're betting. I mean, it, it was nice. I didn't take offense to it. I, I thought it was nice. Before we get to the news, I just wanted to share this thing from uh, from Airbnb. That what I think is a scammer. Oh, yeah. And Airbnb warned me when I got, you know, th- this person was like, can we go talk about this on WhatsApp? The the Pickleball Party House, you know, they saw it, I guess, online and they want to want it allegedly to rent it for February because it's rented for January and March, but it's available February and April. Um, so this and I and Airbnb warned me that, you know, because they wanted to go offline. Be careful with this person. Hello, my name is Irene. What can I call you? I was just like curious, and I told Kelly, I think this is a scam. Yeah. Rick. Hi, Rick. Nice to meet you. Okay. I'm, and I wrote, I'm very busy. Are you interested in renting the house? Like, cut to the chase. Of course, how long can I rent this property? Because I may rent a house for a long time. I need to understand some details of the house first. Please don't mind. This is, a, I think, from China, because there, there were Chinese characters on there. What dates are you interested in? I wrote back. You can just enter the time frame on Airbnb for pre-approval. I'm just, yeah. yeah. Yes, I understand. I plan to start renting in February. I will arrive in your area before January 15th to see the house with you. Then I might rent it for a year because I'm not sure I'm successful in my expedition. I am specifically looking at your local construction industry and tourism industry. Are you busy at work? If you are busy, we can talk about it later. Okay. This person's not my friend. Right. Okay. And I don't care what your motivations are, what your reasons are, whatever. Like, if you want to rent the house, go ahead and book it for the dates you want. So I, I sent a link to the website, pickleball, picklepartyhouse.com. And I wrote, the house is rented for January. I'm not doing showings. There are lots of pictures on our site. Feel free to book the dates you want. Mm-hmm. Yes, I will do so. Thank you. Were you working just now, Rick? Like, they're trying to start up another conversation, trying to weasel their way in, somehow become like my friend, and we're going to have these long chats. And uh-huh. this is how they scam. Right. Wow, I'm still reading your introduction. You are a gentleman man. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. You got a perfect house, and I like your backyard, Green State, very much. That's a good place. Uh, I May I know more about it with you? After all, you were just looking at the introduction and pictures. I need to know more about it. Like, I don't have time for this nonsense. Why didn't you write that? I don't have time for that. I just ignored it. And, and I had to drive home. And I can't believe you even went that far to, like, talk about it. I just, I'm sorry I'm wiping my face. I, it's it, hot it today. It got warm all, out of nowhere. We have, like, a heat wave here. Um, so somebody asked how I got my glow on my décolleté. Oh. Uh, so what I do is I put um, that... Uh, that cream that I put on, I put like that O C, yeah, O S E A. That put that on my body after I get out of the shower, and then I use this Mac, and it's called Global Glow. And when you wear, you know, something, put it on your chest. Oh, oh gosh, <laughs> I like this. this. Is from the runway room. I like this brush a lot. Oh, so you just I'll put it down. on like this, huh? And it gives you a you sun kiss glow. If you need help some with kiss glow. So let me know. I'm not promoting this. Somebody asked me how I got this glow for the holidays. And then my girlfriend Alicia. Is that on your favorite things on our uh, Amazon shop? No, but shop I'm gonna put it on front? there. So you can go on Amazon.com slash slash shop slash the Rick, Rick Kelly, Kelly show. The Rick Kelly show. Amazon.com slash <laughs> So now we're selling something else. Slash <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'll put it on screen. Those are just my favorite things. Yeah. I have my own Amazon. But anyway, my girlfriend from Sea Lakes, she has a restaurant on the beach. She's my girlfriend. She sent this to me. She's got this restaurant called Huntington Beach House. Very, very great smelling candle. Smell that. 
I mean, that just, it's delicious. It's delicious. Anyways, um, Huntington Beach uh, House and Sea Legs are her restaurants, and she sells alcohol, and she's got the best food. So if you guys ever come into town, uh, this is what you should guys should come to Sea Legs and Huntington Beach House. Okay. And one more thing that she shows, I'm show and tell. Uh, we went to John and Kimberly's house for a dinner party last night, and there was a sketch artist there, and he made this caricature of us. I like it. I didn't even realize they put it in the back seat of our car before we left. That's kind of cool. Um, in the news now. Oh, wait. Sorry. El Cristiano tequila, purity, passion, and promise in every bottle. We love our El Cristiano, and it is a, uh, additive-free, sugar-free, and perfect for the holidays if you want some tequila. Go to l-cristiano.com or kegandbottle.com for the best price. They'll deliver it right to your door, depending on where really, you live. We're really, really nursing that thing, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can't drink any more because we won't have any left. We just have to look at it. Yeah. All right. In the news now. In the news. Bomb cyclone to bring life-threatening cold to millions. Many of you are probably already dealing with this. A major winter storm is uh, going to send the mercury plummeting to minus 20 degrees across the Midwest and the Great Lakes. More than 80 million Americans from coast to coast are under various forms of wind chill alerts. So if it goes to 20 below with wind gusts of 40 to 50 miles per hour, it could feel as low as 60 below zero the wind, with the wind chill. Wow. Insanely cold weather. Not a lot of snow, but... I'm going to ask you guys a question. So when I lived in Scottsdale, which was, I left there when I was 28, it was I felt like I had cabin fever. When it's 120 degrees, you are inside. You can't really go outside. Um, it's, it's hell, basically. Now, to me, cold, being that cold is worse. I what, agree. What do you guys think? Do what you guys, do you think? What would you rather have, 120 degree heat, or would you rather have negative Zero. That's a very good question. I can't wait to find out. 50 to 60 mile per hour wind gusts in Islip, which is about half an hour from the house in West Hampton. Wow. Um, the, the, Did you shut off the water in your house in the Hamptons? Um, the outside water is shut off. The inside, the heat's still on. It's being shown on Monday. Oh, it is? Yeah. I'll talk to you about that in a little bit. Okay. Um, <laughs> but the, the other concern is air travel. We have a flight on Alaska Airlines on Saturday to Cabo, and one of the airlines uh, mentioned, you know, because when stuff happens elsewhere, there's a ripple effect. Mm -hmm. So their plane might be grounded in Chicago that's supposed to take us to Cabo. We don't know. Um, but... United, JetBlue, American, Delta, Southwest, and Alaska Airlines have, are already offering waivers for a number, a number of specific flight paths and dates. So we have to check on that. So I've asked Michael to give me a, uh, an approval with the notarized thing saying that it's okay for Julie to come with us. Well, she said he's doing that today. We'll see. He always makes us makes you wait to the last minute. He makes me wait to the last minute just to make me sweat. I swear. It's like, why do people do this to me? To make you need him. Lakers only, uh, owner Jeannie Buss is engaged to comedian Jay Moore. Oh, I like Jay Moore. Yeah, well, they're now she's now engaged to Jeannie Buss. I guess they've been going out for a while. Who's Jane Buss? Jeannie the, Buss. L Jeannie Jean. Buss is the owner of the Los Angeles Lakers. Oh, I think that might be Riley's mom. No way. Yeah. Wow. Well, his, a, he doesn't text me today. His, he his just, stepdad will be Jay Moore. <laughs> no way. Yeah. Well, We'll talk to him in a little bit. We're going to well, get through this. We've got to drive. He's having a birthday party at Manhattan Beach Day. He just texted me. Oh, wow. Wow. All right. Well, we got to we got to hit the road in a minute. Um, I thought you liked this story. A girl got trapped in a claw machine after trying to steal teddy bears. No way. Rage against the claw machine. I like this one. The girl fought the claw and the claw won. Ah! A four-year-old girl's plan to pilfer teddy bears backfired after she ended up trapped inside the crane contraption. This was in Queensland, Australia. Look at her. <laughs> 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 Look at her, like, let me out. Let me out of that here. That girl, that girl will forever <laughs> <Look>. have claustro. <laughs> <laughs> that girl, will, that little girl will have a, uh, see, I. Claustrophobia? Yeah, the, the reason I have claustrophobia, I told you that. My my older brother, JR, locked me in a, uh, 
um, in a locker when I was that age yeah. at four or five. Yeah. Well, my, my mom and my grandma went Christmas shopping and I was stuck in there for four hours. And I swear that early memory is why I'm claustrophobic. I'm not surprised. I'm, I'm more certain of it. This is funny though. Cause the mom was like laughing, <laughs> trying to contain her laughter. Uh, how are we going to get you out? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. And then she said that she got the girl to sit down, and then she yanked her out through the opening that she had squeezed herself in through. <laughs> and then, you know, like she was like, uh, are you ever going to do this again? Have you learned your lesson? You're not going to steal anymore, right? Before she pulled her out, you know, just to reinforce that you can't be doing that. You can't kid. be stealing. No, it's not good. Mm -hmm. um, in any event, like I said, we got to go to L.A. Uh, we're going to have a great show for you tomorrow. We hope you enjoyed today's Smash. And listen to us tomorrow uh, at the Jeff Lewis show. Yeah. And if you uh, haven't checked out our Patreon podcast yet, you probably should. It's longer, unfiltered, uncensored, and commercial free. We have a great show this week that we shot at TBD Studios in Laguna Beach in front of a live audience. It's really fun. We have 70 shows now that are uh, available to you once you subscribe, starting at just five bucks. So we hope that you'll check that out. And we appreciate your support here very much. If you haven't subscribed on YouTube, it doesn't cost anything here. Just hit that subscribe button. Yeah. Take care, guys. Thank you, Smashettes. See ya. Bye-bye.